But what happens in that autopsy after eight years of decomposition? Can forensics really help here? Joining me now is Dr. Kenny Kinsey. He's a forensic crime scene analyst who has worked over 850 death cases. His testimony helped convict Alex Murdoch, and he has since been retained to lead a new investigation into the death of Stephen Smith. Uh, Dr. Kinsey, thank you so much for being here. First question, it's the most important one. Do we have any results of what the medical examiner found this weekend? Ms. Ashley, we have preliminary results but I'm gonna let Mr. Bland put those out public. I have no report yet or no final report. Is it, is it uh, at least helpful in terms of suggesting this was not a hit and run and in fact was a murder? Maybe there was actually a murder weapon? Well, uh, I think everything is still on the table. And as I've explained to several other folks today, it can still be a hit and run and be wrong, be, be criminally wrong. And I'm not saying that it is a hit and run. I'm just saying I'm trying to leave all my options open because I have to have an open mind with the, the part and the task that I have. But if someone took this young man's life and knew about it and left the scene, it's just as criminal as if they would have beaten him somewhere with an object. Sure. Dr. Kinsey, I know that there was some discussion in the funeral home among some of the um, highway patrollers that it looked as though someone had taken a baseball bat uh, to Stephen. Did the medical examiner this weekend determine something different than the medical examiner determined eight, determined eight years ago? I wasn't given any difference in the blunt force trauma that Mr. Smith uh, suffered, as I said, my job, I've, I've been in Hampton almost all day on Saturday, and my job was to uh, re-verify or rework uh, every aspect of that, of, the, of those two scenes, rather. And it kept me pretty tied up. I had access to the information from the autopsy, but as I told Mr. Bland and Mr. Richter, the pathologists they have is very capable and uh, documents very well. So I'll work off of whatever that pathologist collected at the autopsy. But my part was and, to verify. And, I was going to say, were there, were there any surprises, Dr. Kinsey? Were there any surprises by that pathologist? As far as I know, uh, no, ma'am. But like I said, the final report isn't here yet. And I'm expecting that final report would tell us a little bit more. I do know it was a success. Uh, they said they did collect evidence. It was very good documentation, and everybody uh, was upbeat about the information that was collected. And that's not always the situation when when you exhume someone after so many years. But they said they had everything. Yeah, eight, they years. Needed, eight years. Eight years, Dr. Kinsey. Um, will Will we be able to determine something positive and something that's actually productive after eight years of decomposition? Well, I don't want to take it, the, take it the wrong way, but I'm very, very excited uh, about the report coming and the pathologists were very upbeat and said they had everything they needed to do a proper examination of Mr. Smith. So uh, I didn't hear anything negative about that. And, and they were you know, saying that it was very good situation for the Smith family and for the investigation. So I've got my fingers crossed and I, I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully we can get the Smith family some answers. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.